Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another episode of SevTech Ages 3.11 tutorial series. We are done with the Between Lands. Yay! And we are now looking at a Tier 3 Blood Altar. Clearly, I've already built it. I've already my went out and got myself some Sea Lantern. Well, I got myself the ingredients for Sea Lanterns, um, which I'm gonna quickly, quickly go over. Um, I know you're not on my map, but I, in my travels, found an ocean monument and marked it. And I went back and I farmed some prismarine. I don't have it anymore because I've already built it. But I farmed some prism prismarine. I had to kill about 30 uh, uh, pew pew fishes uh, to make it, to get what I needed. You need uh, 16... 16 prismarine shards and 20 prismarine crystals. The shard drops are a little less common than the crystals, which works out well. Uh, of course, you'll end up with some raw fish too, which you could, I don't know, do whatever you want with, I guess. Um, cook it, I don't know. Throw it at, throw it at stuff. Use it to tame parrots. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Um, and so, or cats. Is that what, that's not what you take cats with? Is fish? I think so. I don't know what vanilla Minecraft. What do you think this is? A vanilla Minecraft channel? This isn't a vanilla Minecraft channel. And then you can make your four sea lanterns. I contemplated doing it on camera, but that's not what this is about. This is not a tutorial on how to take on an ocean monument. And I didn't bother to um, go inside. I just stayed outside. I, I, don't, I don't have... Can, can I even get... Can I even get potions right now? No. No, you can't even get potions. So you can't get underwater breathing that way. There's probably other ways that I don't even know about. But you can't do it the old-fashioned vanilla way, uh, which would be, um, yeah, potion of... Why can't I think of what it's called? Breathing? Potion of e-breathing. There you go. Breathing potion. <laughs> Anyway, then you're going to make 20 more of these blank runes, which, if you recall from before, is just two blank slates. You can use the weak blood orb and then stone, six stone. It's kind of a lot of stone, so just put a bunch in your grill and let it go. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, put those here. You don't need one in this corner. As you can see, I just have dirt. You go up two blocks, you put your sea lantern, and then you have yourself... A tier 3 blood altar. And I already have some essence in it because I made an imbued slate, which we're, I'm going to need for a future episode. We're not ready yet. We have to make a stocked cauldron. Stoked cauldron. So I've already placed the cauldron. Kind of got it started, but there's a lot to do there. I don't want to get into it just yet. Anywho, next is the compass. The compass. This is a nice little handy tool to have. Uh, and it's actually quite simple to make. It's just an iron arrowhead surrounded by four iron plates. Now, you could go through the process of hammering out iron over here, or... You can just make a thing that's not here. Why is it not here? Did I put it in here? Where did I put my plate? Oh, no, oh, that's an ingot. Well, you can make a plate cast. Let's just show you in here. See it? Plate cast. All you do is you put any old plate. Uh, I went ahead and I had a bronze plate chilled in a, in a box somewhere, so I used that. You just put the bronze plate down, dump two and gets a gold on it, and you have yourselves a plate. Do I have anything in here? Oh, I sure do. Go. Oh. Been smelting away. The the only the only downside I I would say from this setup this bad boy is the fact that you can't really stop it while it's going. Well, I guess you could do this perfectly timed, right? And then turn this off. Let's see, did it screw up? No. Okay, so that's how you stop it then. Good to know. Eh, earlier today, when I was smelting copper and I wanted to make my iron set again, which this got weakened by fighting the... whatever those things are called. Guardians. The guardian fishes. 
um, I stopped the stream. Never stop midstream. I stopped the stream, and I ended up with like half an ingot in here. And even though I had a full ingot down here, it didn't make any sense, but whatever, that's what happened. And so uh, I ended up, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you look, oops, not if you look at, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's in my backpack. Okay, well, that makes sense. Oops, I don't want that. I don't want those in my face. Yeah, let's just put it over here. Um, if you look at the advancements, we have a couple other things here that follow after the compass, but until we do, until we go to the twilight, which is, yeah, here, enter the twilight forest dimension. Fill two by hole, surround with plants and savings, and you could just throw a star metal ingot, which we're nowhere near making, we're nowhere near able to make. Until we go there, we can't get uh, these guys. These guys all require ingredients. Well, technically, the stopwatch, I think we can make. We could technically make the stopwatch because it uses, yeah, firefly jars, um, which we can get firefly jars out in the overworld. Of occasionally, you'll see a twilight forest like thingamabobber, and you can get the stopwatch. The stopwatch is the least useful of these three items. We definitely are going to want a depth meter um, so that we can have our X, Y, and Z together. Also, somebody asked me for the seed, so there it is. Um, somebody wanted to play along. Uh, so there you have it. That is the seed uh, that I am playing on. Big old bunch of numbers. Uh, so you could play on the same world that I am on. I think this is natural spawn, isn't it? I don't remember if spawn is at zero zero. It's been so long. I don't remember if spawn was at zero zero or if I moved or if this was or, or if I moved. Um, so yeah, you tell me. You open up that seat and tell me if you're if you're right here. Um, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Uh, well, don't forget while you're making your tier three blood altar, it's a lot easier if you turn it into peaceful mode before. Still haven't regained my nutrition. Oops, I hit the merge button, but I don't think it really did because it's too far away. Uh, don't forget to uh, actually let me to produce cheapies here. If I don't keep doing this, I'll run out of hearty stew. I have to constant, constantly be making more hearty stew. I don't really need any more buffaloes. I don't need any more glue for the foreseeable future. Well, that's not entirely true. I have to make a bunch of bunch of more axles and gearboxes for this. I'll do that off camera. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's put this stuff away real quick here. Okay, well that's it. That's going to do it for this episode. A little bit of a short one, because I already went ahead and built this. I will pretty this up with better blocks uh, than dirt. I'm thinking of using uh, those blocks right there, because they're nice and pretty. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.